I've been interviewing a number of nutritional scientists and I had three of them come in and all three of them came in and we're talking about the intermittent fasting schedule and um, every single one of them goes, well, look, intermittent fasting, yes, it's very new. I was like, well, actually, no, it's not. It's been around for thousands of years. Well, I guess in that context it is. And I wasn't trying to be a dick, okay, but I was having a very healthy debate. But all three of them said, look, it's not for everyone. And I said, well, why would you say that? She said, because it doesn't really suit everyone. You know, not everyone wants to fast for these periods. I said, well, hang on. There's like 16 different intermittent fasting protocols. There's not a one size fits all. Okay, there's 16 different models that anyone can choose from, whether it be done on a daily basis or an hourly basis or even on a weekly or on a monthly basis. So tell me someone who can't do that. And all three of them went, oh yeah, I guess you're right. You cannot manage your fucking time, but you can manage your energy. And what is the best way to manage your energy? Become fat adapted. The science is fundamental. This isn't a fucking fad. This is legit. You become fat adapted. How do you become fat adapted? By fasting for extended periods of time. Okay, and eating within certain windows that are either based on hours, days, or in some cases, fucking weeks. And then all of a sudden, you click over where you start burning energy that's been with you the whole time and you don't need food necessarily on a regular basis in order to maintain high levels of energy. Because who here feels like they'd be able to execute on their plan at a much higher level if they just had a little bit more juice in the tank? I've been doing this for fucking two years now. Okay, and all of a sudden now, everyone in the rest of the world is saying, oh wow, K-Man's transformed. No, I've been transforming for talking two years. It becomes a way of life, and then all of a sudden, having high levels of energy is not something that you visit on a now and then basis. It's something, oh, I remember when I had, it becomes something that you just live with.